Welcome to another Indeo Design Studio tutorial. In this video, I'll walk you through the updated Multi-Project Manager, a robust project management tool for up to 10 projects. This tool is available for purchase in my Etsy shop, and you can also find a link to the bundle in the description below. All right, let's get started. When you open the spreadsheet, you'll see that there are 15 tabs, an Instructions tab, Setup tab, Dashboard, 10 Project tabs, a Kanban board, and a calendar. The Instructions tab here provides all the key setup details. Take a moment to review this information before you begin using the spreadsheet. Three things to highlight for now. Number one, this tool is designed specifically for Google Sheets, so the formulas will not work properly in Excel. Number two, by default, the date format is set to the US format, but you can change this by going to File, Settings, Locale. If you live within the US and you just want a different format, you can also go to Format, Number, and Custom Date and Time. Number three, certain cells and sheets are protected to prevent accidental changes to formulas. If you need to remove protection on a sheet, click anywhere within a protected section, and then go to Data, Protect Sheets and Ranges, Show All Protected Ranges, and click on a section that you want to delete. Click the trash can icon to delete the protection. The tutorial section gives you access to this video as well as a link to a fully filled out sheet for reference. The rest of the instructions walks you through how to use each tab and provides answers to frequently asked questions. Remember to read through everything here before beginning. On this setup page, you can customize the core structure of your project tracker to fit your team's needs. Here, you can list up to 10 projects in the first column using custom codes and names. You can also list up to 20 task owners in the second column. You can define your task status by changing these names or leaving them as they are. You can also define your priorities and you can change the labels, but the colors themselves do not change. Here you can select your working days. Unchecked days will be excluded from timeline calculations. And finally, you can add holidays that should be skipped in scheduling and duration tracking. Everything you see here will automatically populate and control dropdowns and logic throughout the rest of the tracker. Now that we've set up the project manager, let's explore the dashboard, your central hub for tracking project progress task distribution, and workload management. I'll briefly touch on the left column, which lists today's date, a calendar to give you an overview of the month, and a notes section so that you can jot down thoughts as you review the dashboard. You can change the calendar to any month you like by clicking here and selecting a different day. The top section shows key performance charts. The project status distribution chart gives you a quick breakdown of tasks categorized as not started, in progress, complete, on hold, or canceled. The project task distribution chart shows the number of tasks per project, giving you insight into workload distribution. The task priority distribution chart displays how many tasks fall into each priority level, helping you manage high priority work. The Owner Workload Distribution Chart tracks the number of tasks assigned to each team member and workload along with status allocation. Section 2 is Task Management. This section lists the next 10 tasks coming up along with their status, owners, and due dates. Any overdue tasks will appear here so you can quickly address missed deadlines and keep projects on track. Section 3 is the Project Overview section, with 10 charts, one for each project. You can leave them in order from 1 to 10, or you can choose to view them in a different order. The views are based on the project selected in the drop-down here.
Once you select a project, you can see start and end dates, days remaining, and project specific status and priority charts, as well as an overall progress bar. Use this section for focused project reviews. Section four is for task filtering. You can filter tasks by project, owner, and status. If you want to clear the filters, all you have to do is click in the cell and hit the delete key. You can view up to 200 tasks at once in this chart. You can also check counts of total tasks and breakdowns by status and priority. The dashboard gives you a real-time snapshot of your projects, helping you manage priorities, deadlines, and team workload efficiently. Now let's dive into the project tabs. This project view tab gives you a deep dive into a single project, in this case, project 01. The title is auto-populated from the settings tab. Use this open space to write a quick summary, goal, or mission of the project. This keeps your focus front and center. Add the name of your project lead to establish clear ownership and accountability. Then choose a start date for your timeline. This adjusts the calendar view and ensures all tasks align with your project schedule. Choosing an end date will allow you to calculate how much time you have left before the project is due. These status boxes give you a high level overview of your project status as well as how many days you have left in the project. In the task table, you can break your project into up to 10 milestones. And then you can add up to 15 tasks within each milestone. Set each task's status, priority, owner, and timeline, and track the duration automatically. When the task is labeled complete, it will be crossed out in the table. As you enter task data, the Gantt chart builds itself and helps you to see overlaps, gaps, and progress across the milestones at a glance. The shaded columns indicate non-working days in light gray or holidays in dark gray. You can change these at any time in the Settings tab. This tab transforms complexity into clarity so you and your team can stay focused, organized, and on time. Now let's explore the Kanban board, a visual tool that helps you track tasks by status and priority. At the top, you'll see a quick summary of all tasks categorized as not started, in progress, complete, on hold, and canceled. This gives you an overview of your team's workload at a glance. Each task is displayed as a card, showing the project code, task description, priority level, owner, and due date. These cards are automatically populated from the project's tabs. Tasks move across the board as their status updates, from not started, to in progress, to complete. On hold and cancel tasks are also displayed, helping you keep track of workflow bottlenecks. You can also use the drop-down filters at the top to narrow your view by project, owner, or priority, making it easy to find and manage specific tasks at a glance. The Kanban board provides a streamlined way to manage tasks visually, ensuring nothing slips through the cracks. Now let's explore the monthly calendar view where you can see all tasks scheduled for a specific month. Start by selecting the calendar year and the month. You can also choose whether the week starts on a Monday or a Sunday, making it easier to align with your workflow. Use these filters at the top to filter tasks by project, status, and priority. This allows you to focus on specific tasks without distractions. Each day displays the tasks scheduled along with their project code and status. Tasks are automatically populated from the project tabs. 
Tasks are color-coded based on their project status, making it easy to see what's been completed and what hasn't. Other things to note, holidays that are listed in setup will show at the top of the designated day. And today's date will always be highlighted in orange. The monthly calendar provides a structured view of all your scheduled tasks, helping you stay organized and on top of deadlines. Now that we've explored all the features of the project manager, let's recap. The multi-project manager spreadsheet helps you organize, track, and manage up to 10 projects in one place. It lets you assign tasks, set priorities, and monitor progress using dashboards, Gantt charts, calendars, and Kanban views. With built-in automation and visual reports, it keeps your team aligned, projects on schedule, and performance easy to measure. If you have any questions or need support, feel free to reach out on Etsy using the contact link on my shop's homepage. And thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, or share in the comments if you found this video to be helpful to you. Cheers.